Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you, this is your first time, welcome. My name is Laura. Uh, today we're gonna do, be doing something really fun. We're gonna be doing our whole face of, make, of makeup, of makeup. We're gonna be doing our whole face of makeup using only 99 cent store makeup. Dollar makeup is really, it's really hard. So you, whatever is there, it's there. They don't have more in the back, they don't have your shade, it's whatever is there, that's what you have to work with. So we're gonna start off with foundation first. Now, they only had this BB cream right here, and it was in the shade light. That's all it said, it was shade light. So I'm gonna be using this one, this one I got at the Dollar Tree, yes, Dollar Tree, and then I got this one at the 99 cent store only. This one's, I think it's too dark for me, so I'm gonna be mixing this one and this one said it was light. So we're done with foundation. Um, I mean, it's all right. It's not my shade whatsoever. Uh, but I mean, it's there. So next would be concealer. Now they did ha not have any concealer in the stores that I went to. I was looking for them. I did not find at least one whatsoever. So I did find, a, it's another foundation. It's another foundation, but this one is lighter and it's creamy, which is this one. It's called Color, Color Mates, something like that. Which is this one right here. Like I said, it's cream based, so what I was gonna do is just put that underneath my eyes, because it's lighter and it's creamy, it's cream, so it's a little thicker, so hopefully this can work as a concealer. And we're also only using tools from the 99 cent store, so it came with this. This is all I have, like I said, this is the only, and the other thing that I was using, but we're not using anything but tools from the 99 cent store, so. Now this is the situation that's going on with the concealer. So we're gonna set this and hope for the best, pretty much at this point. So to set the powder, to set the concealer, oh my god. To, so, to set the concealer, I'll be using this Color Mates. It's, it's a pressed powder and it's called Rose Beige, which is this right here. So hopefully this will work, I honestly don't, don't even know if it's gonna work. It's, it's light, that's for sure. Again, all right. So hopefully this will set and give me more coverage to hide those dark circles. So moving on, we're gonna go ahead and do the eyebrows. Now, for the eyebrows, I have this. Again, the same brand, I don't even know. Oh, it was. So the concealer that I used was from the brand Color Mates, and the powder is Color Mates, and then the pencil is Color Mates. So those three things are from this brand called Color Mates. Um, the foundation, the foundation, foundation, the foundation was from Asisa, I wanna say Asisa, Asisa. And then just the BB cream was from a sassy and chic. So. Brow 
brows are done. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like this pencil. It's very, very creamy. It's very pigmented. Um, I liked it. I really, really did like it, which is good because I was running out of brow products. So I like this a lot. So it has 12 shades. This is the nude. It's from LA Colors. So they actually have really good stuff. This is from LA Colors. It comes with this little sponge thing. I also did, I was able to find this tiny little blending brush. This is from Wet n Wild. And I got this, like I said, this is a Dollar Tree. Um, so I was able to find this, which I'm grateful for because using this, mm, I mean, I will use this, but this was needed too. Right here. I'm gonna go in with that little shade. I'm gonna get it on this brush or this little sponge. There, and I'm gonna start off on my crease. Let me put it in the side. adding color but it's just not really showing up all right so next I will go ahead and try to do try to do in a liquid eyeliner so this is again from LA colors this is a little liquid liner that I got and I will try to do a wing hopefully that comes out well and I don't ruin it We're gonna go ahead and do our eyelashes. I'm about to try to cover up this mess right here because I can't do wings to save my life, apparently. We're gonna go ahead and do our mascara. This is by LA Colors, and this is the Defining Bold Lash. This is this okay. Crookshake? I did not find any false lashes this time so I'm gonna be using my regular ones I always use but there are actually good ones good false lashes are a dollar and that one is by the brand elf they're usually a dollar and they're actually really good I actually do like them they're very very natural looking so you doesn't even look like you're wearing falsies you look very natural but it's really cheap and they're a dollar so that would count to be in this video. Like I said, I was not able to find some at the 99 cent store, but I have found them there before. So I guess you just have to get lucky. Okay, the lashes are on. So the next thing to do is we're gonna try to contour. We're gonna try to contour now. So I found this little pencil right here and it's from Alley Colors and it's the contour stick. So we're gonna have to try to go ahead and do that and then we're gonna blend it out with this little duo pack and it's from Alley Colors and it's the contour duo Crookshanks no oh. 
and it's this one it comes with a highlighting and a contour shade so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, sketch out our contour first and then we're gonna go ahead and blend it out with the powder so Crookshanks dude Crookshanks Next, we're going to go ahead and use blush. This is again from the LA Colors, and this is in the shade Toast. So, this one actually comes with a tiny little brush, which is this big, that big, and here are our little bristles. So, let's get to it. not able to find a highlighter but I did find this uh, shimmering loose eyeshadow just this it's silver it's a little what's called snow white so it's white so I will try to attempt to do this hopefully I don't mess everything up but this one comes with a little tiny little brush This is by the brand ELF and this is in the color Pink Petal. Just using 99 cent store with 90 with cheap make with dollar makeup. There you go. So this is the look I I created with a dollar makeup. There was some challenges in there. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little tough with some of the makeup. Now to recap, I'm gonna tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, what I would recommend, and just to stay away from. To be honest, with the foundation, that's a little tricky because not every store will have your shade and this is just in brand in general like if you go to the drugstore sometimes certain brands won't have your shade and that's a major store like if you go to Target certain big brands won't have your shade your color shade so like I said that's something on its own like let alone going to the Dollar Tree or and try to find a shade that might actually fit your tone if you're lucky enough you will find one if not you can always get dark ones and light ones and then mix it until you get the color you liked like I said this one um like I said uh, the color it, it's all right because I had to mix a BB cream and a foundation it didn't really work that that well but it got the job job done and if you're looking for something cheap not gonna lie this is it, it will do the job so but like coverage and stuff like that crookshanks can you please stop crookshanks stop so for coverage and stuff it, it's not full coverage it would be very sheer but it's it's a foundation it will work um would i recommend for you to buy it Probably not, to be quite honest. I think it's just better for you to go to Target, spend a few more bucks, but get a good foundation. Well, because there wasn't any concealers, I can't really say this is a great concealer, you should go get it, because this was not a concealer. This is a foundation, and this really sucked. I don't know if I can say that, but this was really bad. 
It is too white for my skin tone. It creased instantly. It wasn't full coverage. It was hard to blend with this little square. I would not recommend you to get this one. Now this is the pressed powder. I use this to set my under eye with that. And actually this actually did work. And I would recommend this one if you don't have like a translucent powder because uh, in the 99 cents it's gonna be really hard for you to find those kind of things. But this actually worked because whatever that didn't cover, this covered it right up. And I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise, my cat is running like crazy right now. So that's why you're hearing all of that noise right now. So I would definitely recommend this. Crookshanks, could you please stop for just one second, boy? Thank you. I, I would recommend this. For the eyebrows, I use this color, the Color Mates eyebrow. What oh, do you see? The color, little, <laughs> can't talk. So I use this Color Mates brow pencil. It says it's an eyeliner and a brow pencil, but I use it as a brow and it worked. It's a very creamy, I actually like it. It's very pigmented, blend it out easily. You just put it, you use a spoolie. So you put it on and then you use a spoolie just to go ahead and blend it out. And it actually blended really good. And you get two actually, not just one, but you get two for a dollar. And I actually really did like it. There's no complaints here. I did like it as an eyebrow product. Now I did try to put it on, as a on my waterline and it didn't, nothing came out. There was like no color or pigment. So would recommend for the eyebrows, not for an under eye eyeliner. This little guy. Okay, you see, it's just really hard to to say if it worked or didn't. But honestly, in my opinion, it just did not work. There's really you can't you can hardly see any color. Any of the three colors I put on my lid, you can't really tell if it's there. So I would say it was a flop. It didn't really work. Um, maybe the other little palettes, because they had a few other little palettes, maybe those might have worked. But this one in general, it just did not, there was like no color, it was hard to blend. What little color there was, it was hard to blend, like I said. And then this little thing that they give you, one of them fell. I mean, I would not recommend this. It just didn't really work, so I actually did not really enjoy that one whatsoever. Now the eyeliner, that one was actually really good and I lost it, here it is. This was actually really good, I actually really did like it. The tip is really thin so I was able to get like a crisp line. It's very pigmented, it dried pretty quickly so I have no complaints here if you're looking for a really cheap, um, really really cheap with a dollar uh, eyeliner, I would go ahead and recommend the LA Colors one, it's like I said, it's a liquid liner, liquid liner from LA Colors, totally recommend this. This was good. Now the mascara, it was all right. I mean, there's, I've tried better, but usually I don't really critique mascara a whole bunch because most of the time I do wear false lashes and there's no really prime reason for me to review or put one on because I'm already gonna cover it with, uh, with falsies. So, I mean, it was good. So, I mean, like I said, it's really small. So if you're looking for a cheap one, wouldn't go bad. I mean, it's fine, it's good. The contour stick from Ali Colors. It was very creamy when you applied it. It was super, super creamy. I had really high hopes, but as soon as you start blending it, it just went away. Like it was like you were uh, completely wiping it off. I don't know if it was uh, the beauty sponge that I was using that was making it go away. I don't know if it's just the product. Maybe with a different pencil. Um, pencil with a different brush, it might have blended out better. But um. It was, I honestly can't tell you. I can't tell you if it's a yes or no. Um, I'll be using it again in other videos and throughout the days. And then I'll, at one point I'll tell you if I do recommend this or not, because I don't know if it was the, the sponge or if it was just the product. So I'll go ahead and try it once more or a few more times and then I'll let you know if I liked it or not. Now this was actually really good. I actually did like it. This little contour duo thing from Alley Colors. This one was actually really good. This saved the bronze scene and the the little contour I try to do. This actually I did like it. I'm not gonna lie. A dollar can't beat it. It's a dollar. It was really good. I did like it. Would definitely recommend you to get this. The blush. It's 
spine it's very sheer it has a lot of glitter like a lot of golden specks it's not matte or anything like that it has a bunch of little golden specks it was good like I said maybe with a different brush because this little brush that they gave me was not doing very good justice so this was fine this was I liked it it was Now, like I said, because it did not have a highlighter, I mean, I had to use this um, loose powder, this eyeshadow, it was okay. I mean, um, I'm sure as an eyeshadow is a lot better than as a highlighter, but for what I needed it, if you don't have something and you want like a little highlighter, that would work just fine. And lastly, but certainly not the least, was the lip the lip stain it was fine um i just think my lips were a little too dry to be honest because i see it like on cracks and stuff like that but it was a little it was a cute little moment i'm not gonna lie um it was just like it's a lip stain so it's not gonna go anywhere um but yeah it looks very natural oh it does in person and in camera it looks very natural so if they had more colors, I would buy this. It's the only shade they had. So, yeah. So, apart from that, that's all I used on my face to recreate this dollar-looking face. Is that even a thing? A dollar face? Probably not. Uh, that's all I used to make, to recreate this look using only dollar makeup. Uh, in general and overall, yes. There are sometimes that uh, the Dollar Tree dollar stores have really good makeup there are some flops but there are some good things in the 99 cent store so I would just go ahead and experiment whenever you have like a dollar go get a new piece of makeup and then just play around with it like I'm not gonna lie this is not that bad I would ex I was expecting a lot worse for just being a 99 cent stores but it does the job and whatever you want it to it'll it'll get it done and you just have to work a little bit harder than you would with any other Things, especially like you said the eyeshadow but apart from that everything worked well but um yeah i hope you guys actually like this this little video i said it was this my sister told me she's like you need to go to the 99 cent store and get a bunch of makeup and do your makeup with just 99 uh with dollar makeup so that's where i got the inspiration thank you sister right. thank you guys so so much for sticking around and watching me do this little makeup thing and thank you once again so much if you made it this far thank you till next time bye